are going to the Passion Conference. I noticed that it's called Passion Conference 2023 mm -hmm. because it's technically getting ready for the next year. Correct. I'm trying to look up because I'm trying to explain if you've never been to the Passion Conference what even that is. It says, this is the definition for Passion Conference. It says, a gathering of 18 to 25 year olds, the largest gathering of its kind of the age group in the United States. That's actually pretty crazy, I don't know that. Showing that the church is alive and well, and that Jesus is still important to millennials and Gen Z. That's interesting. Are we millennials? You, I think you and I are millennials in 1997. Maybe. They actually have a shirt this year. Well, they're all really cool. But they're, one of the shirts that they have actually says Passion Conference Texas established in 1997. Ooh. Yeah. That would be cool. Okay, we might have to get that. Anyway, so tonight is the first session. And I don't. I wish they would tell us who's speaking every session so we can like look forward to it. Yeah. But basically, if you do know these people, these are who's gonna be there. It's the people that I know. Is Carrie Joe and Cody Carnes, Sadie Robertson and her husband Christian, and the Giglios. Is that how you say their name? The Giglio and Brandon Brandon Lake. Brandon Lake. Crowder. Anyway, so we'll see ya when we get there. That was good. <laughs> what was that guy's name? Ben Stewart. Never heard of him before, but his message was pretty awesome. Super practical. His angle, it was awesome. We're right. going to dinner. Dinner, dinner. Dinner to a really cool place, and they have 95 cent wings on Wednesdays. So, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Session one. The crazy thing was that they said statistically, all of a sudden in 2012, a lot of things started going downhill. And they were like, well, what is the general cause of that? It ended up being because of social media, because social media began in 2012. And because of social media, it led to a bunch of depression and since then it's just gotten worse so luke and i were discussing it's going to be hard for us to decide when our child will ever have social media now because that's super sad anyways if you're watching this and you are in college or still in high school totally recommend you going to the passion conference totally worth it and like i said earlier if you're single and you're looking for a fellow or a fella, does a fella mean woman? What's a woman? If you're looking for a gal, then that is a great place to look because they're all there for one reason, I hope. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. We're on day two. We're going to session two and we might be running a little late, but that's okay. Thankfully, we have friends who we just found out that are there. They are going to save us seats. That helped big time. Luke is actually getting us some breakfast. Well, breakfast bars because we're not like crazy hungry, but we won't be able to eat till lunch. So I'm going to be hangry if we don't eat. So he's getting us some cliff bars. Are you my 
my Uber? Yeah. <laughs> Luke came in clutch with the cliff bars. I have changed Luke for the better. Desperate situations. I lost my badge. Luke thinks that we can't get in without it, so we're about to see and hope for the best. We're being held hostage. We got kicked out because I don't have my badge, so we have to go all the way back to our hotel to go get it. So, one, don't forget your badge. Okay, we got my badge. Sadly, this started at 9.30 and it's like 10.10. session four because we're gonna go on a little date slash coffee slash work <laughs> but we're coming back tonight because me and Emma are praying that it's Sadie Robertson preaching tonight uh, but it might also not be but tonight should be really good so we'll go to that session this is your sign to enter an Instagram giveaway because I won these sweatpants I actually want to set I had a hoodie with it but I didn't bring it. These are the probably the thickest sweatpants I own. These are nice. They're cozy. We came to get Luke one coffee. This boy came out with a bag and a whole other coffee. The whole other coffee, hey, it was free. Okay, it was free. Okay, we're off to session five. Session five. Yep. <laughs> A lot of you haven't been born yet. It was the third year of Passion, 1999. Sadly, it was not Sadie Robertson, Question. but it was David Giglio. David? Yeah, it was David oh. Giglio. <laughs> oh, what's his name? Louis. Giglio. Louis. <laughs> Close enough, right? Louis. David. Louis Giglio. Is that how you say it? Giglio. Giglio. The Crowder guy was there. Apparently, people are big fans. He was really good. Um, really loud. <laughs> yeah, they cranked that sucker. If they had the rest of the conference on like 10, they cranked him to like 35. Literally. It was like, great, like so loud. It was so good, but my good lord, my whole body was shaking. Anyways, we're trying to find our car and we're gonna get dinner. We're going on a date. I'm ready. Are you ready? Thank you for choosing Brahms. What can I get for you? They close in nine minutes. And Wait, are you being serious? Yeah. Oh, Luke, we're so bad. I wasn't doing. She oh, yeah. said, give me one minute and then they're going to come back on at 10.45. Our malts, our milks are they're gonna come broken. Back. They're going to come back at 10.45 and say, hey, sir, I'm sorry, we're closed. <laughs> that would actually be really funny. I want everybody to know that this was Luke's idea to come here. All right, hold on, sweetie pies. We're working on making sure we have enough for the night. Yeah, no Just problem. One. What a nice lady. She said she would make it work. You're bad, Luke. I'm so terrible. Oh, gosh. Luke and I have an ongoing debate. When my gas hits 90 miles left, I still think we have plenty. Plenty. Luke, on the other hand, thinks we're on E. And we'll stop at any sketchy place as long as we're getting gas. Absolutely not. All right, but picture this. <laughs> picture a scenario where we get a call. We go to the hotel, right? We're on 85 miles. We get a call from Austin. 
I said, Lincoln's having a seizure right now. Oh. We need you to come. I need you to come home. We're in a rush, and I'm like, oh, sorry, Marina didn't let me get gas. Gotta stop and get gas. Sorry, Lincoln. Like, you might die. We're not gonna make it because we gotta get gas. Just saying. That is so dramatic. Just saying. That is so dramatic. Don't ever wish or put that upon my doggy. We made it back to our hotel room. I kind of wanted to just say what kind of gotten out of this whole conference. I think for this next year, I really want to be intentional with putting God first in everything I do. And I know that's so like cliche to say, but like I genuinely want to live that out. I want to wake up in the morning and do my devotionals. I want to get in the word. Something that I didn't really want to vocalize yet because I've been scared of the accountability. But maybe that's a good thing. Um, I want to read the whole entire Bible this next year. Um, that's something that's been like on my heart because I genuinely want to know Jesus so much more than I do. I want to also like, like I was saying, putting Jesus first in everything I do. And what I mean by that is like, when I have doubts, and I'm going to have doubts no matter what, but when I have doubts or when I have desires in my heart, I want to one, go to God first, but then two, I want God to be my desire more than my desires in my heart. For some reason lately, not even during this conference, just lately I've been craving this relationship with God that I've never craved before. And I want to start this next year fulfilling that and doing the things that I need to do to get the food that I need and feed that hunger inside of me. But also something that um, we'll probably have to make another vlog about, but each sermon has said something specifically about something that I've been going through and a desire that's in my heart and I think it's really cool so I'll have to make a vlog soon so be waiting for that. Each person, boy or girl, each said something just even a little bit about what I'm going through and I think that is literally insane. I could literally cry right now thinking about it but that's for another vlog. Tomorrow we have one more session and then we're done. Day three. It's Friday morning. Day three, Friday morning. We're heading to session five. Six. Last session. Oh, six. And we both have our name tags. So we can be inspired to say yes, Lord, in our own life. It's been a huge encouragement to stand underneath y'all's leadership. And Brad and Brittany, the whole passion team, everyone who has spoken a word over us this year. We finally got to see Sadie Robertson preach. Hands down, best sermon we heard. Would you agree? Which one was your favorite? I, I still Which like one? the Ben Stewart guy. Yeah, Ben Stewart was definitely on my top. He was very good too. Conference over. Passion 2023. There you go. Bye.